Hello friends, welcome. If this is your first time visiting, welcome. If you are returning, welcome back. Thank you so much for stopping in. I'm so happy to see you and I appreciate the support while I'm growing this channel. Tonight, I just wanna to bring to you, really it's a project share, but I was asked if I would share what some keychains look like once I put them together. So I thought I would do this. Now, I was going to be putting up a video on another project that I did. And unfortunately, last night I deleted it on accident and the cloud doesn't want to give it back to me. So, you know, I told you I got kicked in the face on accident and broke my nose. Well, then the next night, Scott and I were eating dinner and a tooth that I just had a root canal on less than a year ago, I bit down and the entire thing shattered. It was like shards of glass in my mouth. So I went to the dentist. She said she couldn't do anything about it because it was too bad. So I had to go to an oral surgeon and I did that yesterday. And it turns out when they did the root canal, like they really dug in and they, are, and they made cracks all throughout the tooth. So when he went in and took it out, like it was just breaking into pieces in my gums. So it was like this total barbaric, oh, it was awful. I hope none of you guys ever have to have that done. So I have my tooth removed and I was so sore last night. I took some Motrin, I was tired, and I was going to put this video up and unfortunately instead I dumped it. I had done a video on like some fixes for projects, cleaning a cup, fixing sticky epoxy, um, fixing like glitter that turned out really crappy. So I'm sorry I don't have it and when I get an opportunity, I will redo it. Oh my gosh, and the tumbler that I fixed the glitter on, the color is so pretty. I ended up fixing it with Urban Cowgirl. No, Urban Cowboy, let me find it. I do wanna at least share this with you. Look at this color, isn't this really pretty? So this is what that the Glitter Chimp Urban Cowboy looks like so this tumbler i had put some glitter on it and really didn't like the way it turned out and so i was showing how to fix a tumbler without having to redo it and you know generally what i do is i will take whatever glitter color is on there and like if it's two colors, I'll take and blend the two colors, put on some epoxy, and then go over the whole tumbler that way. Or I will find, you know, a glitter that matches what's on there. And it was a blue and a gold glitter that was on here. So I use this Urban Cowboy and look how pretty that color is. So. Even though I mess up the video, I just wanted to like share this color with you because I love it. All right, so I have been asked about, you know, just showing some keychains when they're done. Now, I don't normally sell projects, but I am going to a craft fair tomorrow for the first time. I was supposed to go today as well, but with having to get my tooth done on Friday, I was so uncomfortable I couldn't go today so I'll be going tomorrow and not that I'm necessarily getting in the keychain selling business but you know I'm very interested to see you know we make these things I'm very interested to see you know how they would sell and you know what I'd like to bring back to you guys you know what it looks like selling at a craft fair i've never done it before it may be something that i enjoy and i do every now First and then. all these two things here i got these at on amazon they were 
like about $12 a piece and it's great. You can see it holds a lot of keychains, right? And then I have, I got these little bags here and they, I got a hundred of them. Hopefully they're big enough, but I got a hundred and I thought that this would be a nice little way to, yeah, they'll fit, you know, package a keychain. So these were about $15 for a hundred and they look good. And then I picked up tissue paper at the Dollar Tree. So I'll, you know, put them nice in some tissue paper and then put them in those little bags. I thought that would be nice. And then I did get some little brown bags with handles just in case, you know, I needed them. All right, so. <clears throat> so here are some of the different keychains i'll just sort of show you so i did i showed you guys the multiple little things that i bought um this one's got like the little diamond ball as well as the fuzzy ball so these little things here so i put lots of different little things on there and i think they look really cute there's all different ones and again you know now I took my blow dryer to these balls here to the fuzzy balls and you know the blow dryer definitely helps make them much more fuzzy and then like here's one of my little monsters so I thought this would be cute for like a backpack right and then I got these little guys, they're lip glosses. And I got these at Target in the Target dollar spot. And I just put a little hook on them and put them on. And you know, I just thought it would be fun for, you know, like a little kid for their backpack. And then these ones here, I put a lip gloss on them. So these, I put a lip gloss on them. And what I found the easiest thing to use to put a nice perfect hole in your lip gloss is a leather punch, like for a belt. So we picked one up at the hardware store for $5. Um, Harbor Freight is where we got it, it was $5. So, and it's just good to have. And then, you know, these little keychains, I like them because they have both the clip and the hook and so on these ones i put you know the little lip gloss on also and then when the lip gloss is, is done it's easy enough for them to just take this off and you know have their keychain still and yeah so i just did different ones and you know, I just matched up different little pieces with them. You could put so much different stuff on them. And you know, one of the things that I like to do because I generally make things for people. So when I was doing these, like I was looking at these and I was, I would take the, the letter and I was like, G, Georgette what does a Georgette look like? What would a Georgette like? And I'm like, oh, powder blue. And I just sort of mix stuff together. I know that's silly, but you know, yeah. So like these, I put the li those little um, clear balls. Now, the one thing that I didn't use 
yet. <clears throat> I didn't use um in this set was, you know, I bought the stuff for chapstick. So I still have a lot of stuff that I hadn't used. And then the other thing I really wanted to show you, remember, you know, I got these balls and I was so happy with them. And then I got the fur balls and I were like, I was like, oh, those are crazy. I'm not even sure. Well, I didn't use them on the on these projects because I have something else for them. But I want you to know, so I completely take it back. Once I took a blow dryer to these, these are so pretty. Like they ended up being super super nice like really really pretty so i'm actually really happy with them the one thing is they have the elastic you know you have to put a, a clamp on them but that's okay because the project that i have planned for these um i think i'm gonna do some ribbon keychains and use these for them and i think that these will like having the plastic will actually make it really good so, yeah, so here are, you know, just a sample of some of my keychains with the hardware on them all put together. I hope that, you know, it's helpful. And, you know, if you're interested in selling at a craft fair, you haven't done it before, then I'll let you know how it goes for me. I'll let you know if there is an interest in the keychains or not, and we'll see how it goes. But anyways, um, again, I feel so bad about the project I promised to do and completely deleted, but I do have some really fun projects coming up, and I will go back and redo some fixes and share that it was just it was a lot of work oh my gosh i'm so mad at myself it was seriously like a 40 minute long video oh anyways all right hey listen i hope you guys have a blessed and beautiful beautiful rest of your weekend i hope your night is fabulous i hope you have great plans for Thanksgiving while still social distancing, of course. And thank you again for being here. Thank you so much for the support, friends. I'll see you later. Have a blessed and beautiful night. Bye.